Hello, welcome. My name is Alma Rosa Nieto. I'm an immigration attorney and I wear two legal hats. Yes, one is traditional law. I've been practicing 35 years in the area of immigration law. And the other hat is I'm a legal analyst for Spanish television on a national level, specifically with Telemundo. So, you think you might want to be a lawyer? Congratulations, it's a great field. However, my obvious advice is two. Obvious advice and not so obvious advice. The obvious advice is you have to get good grades. Getting into law school is very competitive, so the better the grades, the better your chances. The second advice is do extracurricular work. Volunteer at a law firm. Get involved with the pre-law society here on campus at Cal State University. Actions speak louder than words. The admissions personnel in any law school are going to look at you and thousands of other applicants. You want to stand out. You want to have a strong resume and you want to have a resume that speaks actions that say, I truly want to be a lawyer and this is why. I volunteered, I involved in the pre-law society, I worked here, I've worked there. That speaks volumes and makes your resume stand out and your law school application. Now let's talk about COVID. COVID and law, yes. How has COVID changed my law practice? In a multitude of ways. You can focus on the bad with anything and you can focus on the good. In the past, I used to see clients face to face across this, uh, from my desk and I'd get to meet people, see their reactions, listen to their stories. Now it's all done either via telephone, Skype, FaceTime or Zoom. And now it's become less personalized. Since COVID, I've been working out of my home for the last seven months. Positive, get to work in my PJs or in any casual clothes and shorts. I get to drink tea or coffee while I'm in consultation, something I perhaps wouldn't have done in the past. Now that I'm not driving to and from my home to the office, I'm saving about two hours of commuting back and forth in traffic to get to my law practice. I'm now using that time to be more active in my social media. I'm very active in the social media platforms in Spanish, educating the Latino community in immigration law. Not, telling, not only telling them new changes, bad, bad changes in immigration law, but also giving them tips on how to protect themselves, how to solve issues in their lives regarding immigration law. So now I get to create more videos. I get to be on more platforms. Yesterday I was interviewed on Global TV, which airs in 70 different countries. And these are things that have been um, open for me because they see me on social media platforms because I'm more active. So yeah, COVID's been bad. It might be even bad for business, but it certainly has expanded my world in terms of social media and platforms that I can now reach because I have more time. COVID has definitely been a change in all of our lives worldwide, and changes are good. Changes are opportunities to think outside the box, to reinvent ourselves, to look in at different areas of law. I, I, of course, years ago said, wait a minute, I don't want to just be a traditional lawyer. I love television. I love radio. And I've expanded into national radio, national TV. Why? Because I had the time to think of where do I fit in? What skills do I have besides being bilingual, loving to speak on camera or on air? And that created an opportunity for me. Now COVID's creating another opportunity for me, as it will for you. So please do not listen to naysayers and saying that maybe law is ending. Maybe there'll be more virtual law. Maybe there'll be more uh, companies that are having lawyers within their company give advice and charge via, via online platforms. And maybe that's where you can fit in. Maybe you never really wanted to go to court. Maybe you really don't like people or you feel uncomfortable in front of people. Maybe this is going to open up new platforms for you. So yes, COVID has changed things, but COVID's also given us an opportunity to reinvent ourselves and find our true passion, our true mission, and complete it and go into law. My final words of advice are my final tips. While at Cal State LA, don't wait till your last year and you're applying for law school. Now, as soon as you can, find one or two mentors in the legal arena that can guide you, that you can shadow, that you can talk to, that you can ask for advice. Volunteer in law firms. There are so many top law firms that would love a file clerk that knows nothing about law, that's interested in maybe a class action lawsuit, in renters' rights, elderly rights, children's rights, women's rights, uh, environmental concerns, racial injustice. As you see, the areas are non-ending. 
to send your resume, tell them you want to volunteer, tell them that you want to go to law school and you know nothing about law but you'll do anything in a law firm. Believe me, they'll want you in their firm. Lawyers are very busy and anyone that can help and chip in in any way is welcome. And lastly, we have a pre-law society here on campus at Cal State University Los Angeles. Join it, get involved, become active, join the uh, board, join uh, anytime they ask for volunteers. Even if it's greeting a lawyer that's coming to speak, you get to know and meet more lawyers and this way get more mentors. Remember, you're, you want your resume to stand out in the admissions committee and you want it to stand out by a long list of activities that show that your heart and passion are in law. Congratulations. Please keep up the good work. Share this with other uh, pre-law students and believe in yourself. That's the most important thing. Don't listen to the naysayers. You can do it.